Hello and good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching and listening to this. Welcome to the Pearls of Peace podcast with your host, Regina Rosa Celeste. I'm super excited to be here for another awesome Winning Wednesday. And hmm, today, 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 today is a great day. You know why? because we choose it to be, darn it. (laughs) Seriously, all kidding aside though, mindset is everything. And those of you that hang out with me know that Mondays we do a little mindset, motivational mindset. And that's all because when we step into our week with power and purpose, it really shifts how we show up for the rest of the week. I mean, think about it. Have you ever experienced a week where you felt really successful, really productive, really peaceful, and overall happy. What was it? Was it that you were prepared and you knew what you wanted to accomplish that week? Or was it that you woke up Monday morning, you were dragging yourself out of bed, trying to figure out, you know, stumbling, so to speak, through the week? Well, I know that for myself, for my students and my clients, I've noticed a pattern and it's all about preparing for the week, preparing for your day, preparing for your talks, for your conversations, for your appointments, for whatever it is in life that you're out to accomplish. It's all about preparation and it's all about mindset. And so Wednesdays I love because Wednesdays are really an awesome opportunity to either pivot and keep moving forward with that, um, intention with that same power, or you can pivot and go the other way and you can fall off the wagon and you can say, oh, it's hump day and I haven't gotten enough. So I'm with the first, I like to, you know, keep sliding forward and, uh, and actually not sliding, but powerfully moving forward. And those of you that know astrology, you know that right now we're in the Leo energy and Leo energy is all about purpose. It's all about Um, It's actually a fire, fire energy. It's all about moving forward swiftly and strongly and also tactfully. So one thing I love about lions is that lions are courageous and they're also smooth, right? I mean, you don't see lions too often, but, you know, lion, lions in the human form, right? Lions and uh, lionesses tend to be very heartfelt. They tend to be very supportive. They tend to be really nurturing and caring and they're no joke. Like you don't want to mess with lions. (laughs) So, you know, it's really an awesome, an awesome thing to be in that lion's energy right now. And I love that. So just wanted to share that. Um, I think if we can learn anything from lions, it's to pivot swiftly and powerfully and know that if you didn't have what you wanted yesterday, you could always shift things and you can move forward today. So today, as far as our movement, I wanted to do something a little different because I know we're often standing in our yoga classes and our yoga sessions. So I thought today we do something more on the mat. And I think that's gonna be a really supportive place because sometimes we think that we have to be strong and tall and that we're not um, succeeding if we're not standing. Right. But the truth is, sometimes we need to sit. Sometimes we need to reflect. We need to sit back and just watch things going on. Think about, again, the lion. Right. The lion doesn't just hop and just, you know, go without a strategy. The lion observes. The lion watches. And the lion really takes action when they know that it's safe and it's the right time to do so. So being on our yoga mat both standing, sitting, and laying down is very important. And a lot of you know that there's thousands of poses. So I thought today we would be spending more time on the mat and go ahead and do that. And I did start a little bit early today. So let's go ahead and let's find a nice comfortable position. Again, closing um, any excess energies and just allowing yourself to just be fully present. Go ahead and release any extra flesh from the sits bones. Go ahead and roll the shoulders back. Take a nice big deep breath in. Close your eyes. And gently just press your belly towards your spine, engaging the belly, allowing the chest and the heart to lift, maybe opening your palms, allowing them to rest, your wrists to rest on your knees. Take a big, nice, full, deep breath in through your belly. 
and exhale out your mouth. Again, nice big full deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath. Exhale. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, go ahead and bring your knees together. We're going to go ahead and we're going to come down to the mat. So pressing your, again, your belly towards the spine. And what that's going to do is that actually engages the core. And what it does is it um, gets the spine to be nice and erect and nice um, neutral spine. And then you're going to lean back. And this is going to really engage the belly. So just a little tweak here. If you guys ever want to a hack, actually, if you ever want to just get some nice ab workout, you can just hang here. Even when you're watching TV and just hang and you can do some, some exercises here, just engaging the core and really working those legs as well. Right. And then go ahead and come down all the way. And do your best when you come down to the mat. Anytime you do, try to go slow and engage the belly. That's going to give you a little extra support in the midsection. It's really going to allow your body to uh, work a little bit harder and be more mindful, more conscious about your body and your, your spatial awareness and just allow yourself to engage those muscles. And then here, there's a couple things you could do. We could go ahead. We could come to bridge. Right. So if you have a block, I'm going to go ahead and invite you. If you have a block, you can have that close by. And of course, you could watch this again later. I know you weren't prepared, but bridge pose is an awesome um, supportive exercise. It's also really good for strengthening the back as well as um, allowing for opening of the lungs and the respiratory system, which we know is all really important right now and always. So go ahead and take your block. You have a couple options. You can either have it. I call this level level two, right? You could do level one, which would be to keep it nice and low to the ground. You could do level two. Or if you really feel like you need a little extra, you can go to level three and allow the, the block to be nice and tall. And you can just hang here and you could do this any time of day. This is a great exercise to just open up the hips, open the chest, and just let your hands rest at the side. And just notice that your neck, or excuse me, your, yeah, your neck is not, um, you know, just be mindful here. And you can just listen to my voice. You don't have to look. Just notice that your eye gaze is facing up. You could even close your eyes here. And just be in an extended supported bridge pose. Breathing in through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Keep repeating that a couple more breaths. What's cool about this posture that it allows you to slow down, but really focus internally and intentionally. It's a very powerful pose. And it's also some of the foundational movements of headstand, handstand, uh, plow pose. There's a lot of different benefits. It's a great pose to start to integrate into your practice. And then if you want to, when you're ready, go ahead and release out of the pose and you can bring the block down to level one. So just resting on the, po on the block like I am. And you can bring your feet together, coming to um, easy pose and just allow your knees to fall open. And this is really good for the hips. Again, this opens everything up and allows for the lower chakras to be activated and also stretched out uh, those muscles. So it's a really good pose. And then if you want to, of course, you can release the block and then bring both legs to the side. So bring your legs to the right, maybe take left hand out to the left side. Stretching the back. You can take one leg out at a time. And you can take it to the other side. This is a really good stretch to do when you first wake up in the morning. Just getting out of bed and you're stiff. 
This is really good to do. Sometimes I do this even before I get up out of bed. I, I do this in my in my bed. It's a great way to start the day and just slowly awaken with intention. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. And then you can bring the legs up and you can just mm -hmm. rotate those ankles. Bring the legs back. When you're ready, you pop back up. So that is just on the move today. Again, doesn't always have to be standing. In fact, we're going to do some more seated poses and laying down poses because I think it's really important. And it's something that sometimes we forget about. We think we have to be tall and standing and, and it's not always the case. You know, sometimes it's really important for us to just be, uh, be closer to the ground, stay grounded and actually work on being more intentional. So for today, guys, I hope that you have an amazing day. I trust that you will not hope. I know you will because that's what you decide. And I am here to support you on your journey through peace, health, and wealth, wellness, and lifestyle. And as we always say here on the Peace, uh, P, eh, can't speak today, Pros of Peace podcast, the vlogcast, I look forward to helping serve you and together changing the way the world experiences peace because it really does start from within. So have an amazing, awesome day. Namaste from my heart to yours, and I'll see you guys on Friday for Q&A with Yogi Reg. Until then, have an amazing, awesome day and week. Bye.